gonna stay hydrated. It's hot here in Arizona. I think we had our first 100 degree day a couple days ago. Hi everyone, it's Nicole. Today I'm gonna show you all the books that I bought in the month of April. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Nicole, you said you were on a book buying ban. And I realized that. Back in December, one of my New Year's resolutions was to stop buying more books and read the books I already have. As you can see from my previous hauls, like I can't help myself. Some people are doing very well with their book buying ban. Olivia over at I Livy for Books is one of them. She just tweeted the other day how she is saving so much money and I don't know, I just, I can't do it. Maybe because I wouldn't say I discovered <laughs> Goodwill for the first time. I guess I discovered the book section that was at Goodwill. I seriously go with my girls from book club, my in real life book club, probably once a week. We just hit up all the Goodwills that are in our neighborhood. We all live kind of around the same area within a mile of each other. And there are about three Goodwills. And we just like we take a night and we just go hopping. And so a lot of these books are from Goodwill. I mean I am saving I am saving money, I guess, because seriously, they're like one to two dollars and if you get them on this on the color day, they're like, that's 50% off. I mean, if I, if I didn't do that, I guess I would save more money. But on the books that I'm buying, I'm saving a ton of money. A ton! You'll see more in this haul that I bought more books from Goodwill than I did from Barnes & Noble. I'm really trying to convince myself at this point. We're gonna go through the Goodwill portion of this. And then I did buy one book in a bargain bin in a grocery store. And then I think I bought three books at Barnes Noble. So we'll go through the Goodwill portion of this. One book that I picked up, this cute little edition of Tales and Poems by Edgar Allan Poe. I do have a big Barnes Noble leather bound edition of the complete works of Edgar Allan Poe. And I think I have like maybe one or two like in like horror story anthology things. But um, I just saw this and it was just so cute. I mean... It's like purse size. You can put it in your purse. And it was a dollar. I just It's just really cute. It has the really pretty gold edges there. And oh my gosh. It's like this beautiful red. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh. That's adorable. It's beautiful, right? I couldn't say no. I couldn't. Next book I got is The Sword of Shannara by Terry Brooks. This is the first book in the Shannara Chronicles. And I've heard many good things about this. I've heard not so good things about it. Um, one of my friends actually watched the TV show. I haven't watched it, but one of my friends did and she actually really enjoyed it. Oh my god, this book is huge. Okay, so um, I'm going to slowly get this whole series and eventually probably read them someday soon. So yeah, this is the first book. Next book I got is The City of Ember by Janine Dupra. This was a movie. I remember watching the movie. I don't remember what it was about, but this seems like a very like quick read. It is part of it. This is book one in a series. Is under 300 pages so yeah very quick read and the font the font is huge so yeah it probably wouldn't spoiler alert if you read any of that yeah it was only a dollar so why not the next book I got is holes by Louis Sakar and everybody knows about holes everybody oh this is cute <laughs> I didn't even notice it had like an inscription wishing you the very merriest of Christmases dearest Chloe Ann Always with love, Uncle Greg and Auntie Patty, 2013. Well, Chloe Ann didn't appreciate your gift very much, but I do. I didn't, I realized that I actually didn't own a copy 
of holes but you know I've I read this book a very long time ago and you know obviously watched the movie which was amazing so and again this book is very short under 300 pages Chloe Ann's loss is my gain next book I got is lover be mine by Nicole Jordan I think she just writes historical romance I believe this is the second book in the series I have the first one this is the second one so I'm just trying to complete the series Next book I got is Island of Glass by Nora Roberts. I do own a lot of books by Nora Roberts. I haven't read them all, but of course this is the third book in this series. But I saw it and the cover is like gorgeous. I love it. I love this blue and the only drawback, those deckled edges, I tell you. Hopefully I can find the first two in, in this edition because if they don't all look the same, then that's stupid. Next book I got, Corduroy, so cute. Probably one of my favorite books as a child. I got it for a dollar and I actually think it was the green sticker day so I got it for like 50 cents. Corduroy's so cute. Next book I got is Born of Fury by Sherilyn Kenyon. I talk about Sherilyn Kenyon a lot. <laughs> I find just because I'm trying to finish that series and then this is another series that she has. I believe I have the first one, two, three, four. I believe this is five. Um, I did read the first one, but I don't really remember all that much about it, so when I get to this series, I'll probably just reread it. Next book I got is Curse the Dawn by Karen Chance. I think I have the first two. I think this is... This is book four. My sister-in-law read this book series, or she listened to it on Audible, and she really enjoyed it, so she told me to read this series that was like seven years ago I don't know what's stopping me I this is a book about vampires I love vampires but I'm just trying to get the whole series next book I got this is actually a really cool book it's the sinking of the Titanic and great sea disasters thrilling stories of survivors with photographs and sketches look at this book isn't it so cool that cover just caught me it's getting kind of worn I can see and in the back it looks like it has some kind of something going on there other than that it's in phenomenal condition this is just pretty cool all the illustrations that are going to be in there the next book i got is called the tipping point how little things can make a big difference by malcolm gladwell one of my girlfriends from book club actually read this book and she said it was really good so she recommended it to me problem is i don't really enjoy nonfiction. it says number one national bestseller we'll see the tipping point is that magic moment when an idea, trend, or social behavior crosses a threshold, tips, and spreads like wildfire. Next book I got is this really cool edition of Anne of Green Gables. It's illustrated too, I think. Yeah, it's illustrated. Spoiler alert. Next book I got is Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell. I've seen this book around, and there's also the TV show, I think. I think it's a TV show dark mythology of fantasy with a delicious social comedy of Jane Austen into a masterpiece of a, the genre that rivals Tolkien. Wow, that was from Time Magazine. Got a lot to live up to. This is also another book that's kind of intimidating because it's nearly 800 pages. 782 pages. And it's heavy. I mean, you could kill somebody with this. Next book I bought is Spellbound by Rachel Hawkins. This is from her series called Hex Hall. I believe I have the first two. Oh, it is the third one. Cool. Awesome. So now I have three. So I guess I should start reading this now. This is called 12 by Jasper Kent. The cover is what first caught my eye. I mean, look how crazy this looks. I mean, pretty scary. Russia 1812. It began as a last stand against Napoleon's invading army. It would end as a fight against an enemy of mankind itself. I know it's about vampires. This is the first one and then I got the second one. I think this is the second one. It's called 13 Years Later. Russia 18... 1825. A country on the brink of revolution. A dynasty enslaved by blood. So, but yeah, I mean, these covers are striking. I mean, look at that. So I got, they were both there, so I'm like, why not? Those are all the books that I got on our Goodwill adventures. <laughs> this next book that I got, it 
was just in a grocery store there was like a bargain bin of books that they were trying to sell I think I got it for like four dollars I honestly think that I actually have this book but um still have the sticker on it Tales of the Greek Heroes by Roger Lancel Green and it's just that really cool pixelated addiction edition I have a couple of these that I've mentioned in another I think it was in my January book haul but yeah these were just these just look so cool to me I mean look at that that's awesome I want to say that I have this book but I just got it because I wasn't entirely sure but if I do I'll probably just give it to my nephew the next books I got were from Barnes & Noble first one is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Mass I know I know you're cursing my life right now because I haven't read this series or A Court of Thorns and Roses this is me taking the first step to getting on the Sarah J Mass bandwagon. Next one I got is this beautiful edition of Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. This is the Barnes & Noble leather bound classic editions of these books. Um, I have a bunch. I have a bunch of them. Whenever a new one of these books come out I just have to get them because they just look so, if you have them on a shelf and they're lined up, they just look so beautiful. And the last book I got is actually a comic book. It is a Spider-Man Deadpool comic by Kelly McGinnis. And this edition is called Isn't It Bromantic? He tries very hard to make Spider-Man his best friend. <laughs> I don't know. I'm on it. I'm on this bandwagon. I ship it. I just love Deadpool. Love Deadpool. Spider-Man. Spider-Man's okay. Those are all the books that I got in the month of April. If you've heard of these books or read any of these books before, um, comment below. I want to hear your thoughts. Don't forget to like my video if you did and subscribe to my channel and you can follow me on Goodreads, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr. I'll see you next time, Avid Readers.